Magna what? Magna who? Magnesium! Okay, what I'm here to do today is show you, the lovely students of Miss Ellis's third hour science class, one of the many reasons we use magnesium in life. What I have here is a magnesium stick. The key to mass destruction! I'm only kidding, it's just a Swiss Army knife. Pan. And my sweet dog Lucy. Mwah. And Max. FYI, dogs are optional. Most of you don't have this stuff just lying around. Pan maybe, but most of you don't have magnesium sticks and Swiss Army knives. Um, these two things you can get at the Army Surplus store. Um, there's one in Milwaukee, conveniently. So, what we're gonna do is we are going to start a fire with magnesium. Run the knife along the corner of the magnesium stick to create sheddings. And I'm going to put these sheddings in a nice neat little pile inside of my pan. Remember, we need this to be somewhere safe. Um, kitchen sinks work as well, actually. Concrete, just don't put it like, you know, um, on your couch or on your cat or something. That'd be terrible. Um, the magnesium itself doesn't hurt you, see? I can touch it, it's perfectly fine. But once we run the knife along the flint, sparks are gonna come off and the sparks will hit the magnesium pile and that will cause a flame and it's gonna be pretty cool and that would be bad if we were on your cat. Um, of course I can't do that right now because my parents aren't home and they don't appreciate it when I start fires without them being here. So we're gonna have to wait until it gets dark because that's when they'll be home. As I predicted it would, it got dark outside by the time my parents were home and so my dad suggested that we move ourselves into the nice shelter of the garage that we don't have to face the violent tundra of the Wisconsin weather because it's nasty out there and windy and we don't want our fire flying all over the backyard. <laughs> so, um, lighting this fire wasn't as easy as we had first thought it would be. Um, after a total of 20 minutes, we got a fire about that big, um, but we did find a couple things that made it easier to make the fire, but I'll get to that as it comes along. Okay, so after a while, we realized, huh, this knife is getting really, really dull and it's not making that big of shreds. So we got out an ordinary wood, um, ordinary wood, Yes, it's called a file. This is a wood file and it worked wonders on the magnesium stick. My dad actually ended up helping just because I could not do that on my own. He, he's good with this kind of stuff. It's his thing. So now we've come to the hard part. We could not get the flint to aim at the magnesium pile. So, when all else fails, turn to the toilet paper. Um, we used it as kindling, and it worked pretty well. Um, magnesium didn't stay on that, or stay lit that long. It was kind of like, pfft. So, um, we just had to keep adding this, and and it ended up working for a little while. Um, so, if you ever go camping, and you use magnesium stick and your lovely file, bring toilet paper. Thank you.
Okay, so now that you know that magnesium is flammable, I'm going to tell you a couple things about magnesium non-booming related. I found lots and lots and lots and lots of interesting facts about magnesium. So I was most interested in the impact magnesium has on your body. So I'm going to read you some of those facts. Number one, magnesium is the fourth most abundant element in your body. 50% of magnesium is found in your bones. 1% of that magnesium is found in your blood. The other 49% are in your cells. Two, 300 biochemical reactions require magnesium. Four. Yeah, I skipped three. Magnesium assists your heart rate, your blood sugar, your blood pressure, your metabolism, protein synthesis, healthy bones, muscle and nerve function, and it helps to prevent disorders such as hypertension, diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. These are only some of your body's uses for magnesium. And don't you forget it. The health of your digestive system and kidneys rely heavily on your magnesium level. You might be wondering, hmm, how is it that I can get magnesium into my body? Where does it come from? Well, I have an answer. You absorb magnesium from your food in your large intestine and small intestine. What you absorb then goes into cells and is brought to tissues and your kidneys specifically. All throughout your body though. It's everywhere. It's all the stuff we learned in fifth grade. You know how mom always says, hey, eat your greens? There's magnesium in those greens, so it's a good thing she did. Chlorophyll molecules contain magnesium, and chlorophyll molecules are what make plants green, if you remember that from last year, which you should. Otherwise, Miss Grusmacher or Miss Steiner would be very, very disappointed. Have magnesium in your kidneys, or enough magnesium in your kidneys, you can't excrete urine correctly. This might be caused by poorly controlled diabetes or alcoholism. So don't drink. You have a magnesium deficiency. You might have loss of appetite, nausea, fatigue, weakness, numbing, tingling, muscles contracting, cramps, seizures, abnormal heart rate, personality flexes, and low calcium levels in the blood. And these are only the basic side effects needed in every single muscle of your body. So that's all I'm going to tell you about all the amazing things I found out about magnesium. Um, in case you didn't know, this is Morgan Ricard. Thanks for watching my video! And now I'm going to eat my grainy magnesium filled cornbread cupcake. It's good.